This video is sponsored by Squarespace, your one-stop shop for creating and managing your own online brand, but more about that later in the video. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. I feel like on this channel I've only ever done two unboxings, like Ever. The first unboxing, I believe, was a Monstera Thai Constellation, like way back when on my channel, in literally like early 2019, maybe even late 2018. The second unboxing I've ever done was in my old shop, which was sometime around March, April, basically in 2020 when COVID was going on. So I thought we'd switch it up slightly and do an unboxing today. Normally when I order implants to the shop, I get things that are in very large volumes. So I normally have quite large boxes and it, it doesn't really work work to unbox things on camera because you wouldn't really see much. But today, given that this is all variegated stuff, there aren't that many of them because a lot of these are not one-offs, but they're a little bit more pricey. So we have them all in this little box and I intend to unbox them for you today. Now, I haven't opened this at all. This is just as is. It doesn't look like it's been inspected, which is kind of nice. So at least if there's any damage in here, it's not the fault of the inspectors. I'm gonna get right on into this and open it, not waste any time. And hopefully it won't be noisy. It's so hot in here today, I can't actually tell you. How hot is it? Do we know? It is 70% humidity because I've just had the big doors open for the last 10 minutes. So it's dropped to 70%. It was probably close to 90. And it is 27.5 degrees in here. So I'm pretty hot. So if I look a bit toasty, that's actually why. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna drop the scissors into the box, actually. What is this? Is this all my paperwork? Let me check it out. Always check your paperwork. Yes, it is. So in my box, I have my picking list and I have my phyto, which is right here. That is what we like. All of it is in there. All the declarations, awesome. Okay, so pop that back in because I need to keep these. Right, right. I'm not really gonna tell you what's in this box. I'm just gonna pick something, unwrap it, and then I'm gonna tell you about it. And no doubt I will show you these more up close in the future in a haul or something like that. I'll briefly go back through them because I'm very far away from the camera here and I literally cannot get to you. You're about two and a half meters away from me right now. You might feel close, but you're not. So I'm just going to pick one up. I'm going to unbox it. This one, and I think it's the only one, this is an Anthurium. And I'm very excited about this and I hope this is good. So let's have a little look at it. Oh, it hasn't been taped. Very unusual. Oh, <gasps> shit that's nice <gasps> that's really nice okay okay can you see it no you can't i'm trying to keep them in the box guys so you can't see them until i want you to see them first plan i'd like to show you and i will do my best to show you as close as possible would be this guy here this i don't know if you can make out this is anthurium vitarifolium variegated i've wanted one of these plants for the longest time and i've seen them here and there on the internet they've been around for years but not they don't pop up all the time really and i think the people that have them just tend not to sell them but i've wanted one of these for so 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 long and i finally finally found a nice one for a good price because i think at one point the tara folium were kind of affordable and then they kind of went up and then in covid obviously everything boomed and they've slowly come back down to a really nice price which makes the variegated one just more obtainable now so i will you know what i'll try and get to the camera with it the best i can Hopefully I won't have focusing issues since it just loves to focus on me. Can you see that? Nah, it just wants to focus on me. Sorry guys, lean in front of me, that might be the best option. Can you see how amazing that actually is? Oh, it is so, so pretty. It's come in really good condition as well, but I'm not going to remove it from the packaging yet. I'm going to do that off camera because normally I would check all the roots through, take any rot off, put them in a bucket of water and just leave them for 24 hours. So I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm just going to keep unboxing. And plus, who cares about the root balls, right? Although I say that, there's probably a ton of people that actually really care about the root balls. Right, where should I put this? Let's put him back down here and then I can't accidentally stand on him. Can you see him? Mm, no. He's literally, can you see him now? There he is on the floor. Right, okay, next plant, next plant. You know what it is, I don't need scissors for this. I really don't, okay. So, next plant, what does it say on it? 
It says philodendron. <gasps> I might leave that one because if it's what I think it is, I might want to leave it to last. It. What is? What does it even say? Skin dapsis. Let's open this one. Because I know what this is, and if it's variegated, since it's a variegated unboxing, you might be able to guess what this might be. So I'm gonna unbox this. There we go. Oh, he's so small. He's so small. Right, there we go. Oh, he's so tiny, isn't he? Let me pick that up there. Hopefully you can at least make some of it out. This here is Skindapsis Meari. I don't know if that's the right way of pronouncing it, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. It's a little Skindapsis Meari. Very, very cute. Loads of variegation on this. Now, I do have more of these. I just, are they down here? No, I moved them over there. They aren't quite as variegated as this one. So I thought this might be good to sort of accelerate the collection that I'm building up to sell. So I figured if I just pump in more variegation into the batch, I might get a bit of a better yield because I have a few going at the minute. I'm not sure how many, maybe five or six, something like that. But this would be a really, really nice addition. And I can see, you guys won't see, and I appreciate that. I can see a little new shoot coming off it. So again, I'm going to leave him in the package as he is, because I don't want to disturb him. But that is as close as I can get to the camera with him, guys. It really, really is. But that there is Skindapsis Meari, which is basically a variegated... Was it variegated silver, Anne? I can't actually remember which one it was anymore. Answers in the comments, because I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, my mic is falling out of me. How rude. Let's just push it down there, because I don't have any pockets. Right, okay. Next plant. What have we got? We've got Raphidophora. We have Aglaonema. We have Philodendron. We have more Skindapsis. Oh, we have a lot of Skindapsis on the bottom. Tell you what, let's keep going with the Skindapsis. Right, we've got two more Skindapsis in the bottom here, so I'll just get through these. Like so. There is a funky smell coming off these packages, by the way. I haven't mentioned it till now, but it, it kind of smells like wee. I assume it's pesticide or fungicide or whatever. They don't usually smell like this, I'm going to be honest. Generally, when I buy stuff in, but this this does have a smell. It does. It really does smell like wee. The more I've... Now I've said wee, it definitely smells like wee. Okay. If you're looking for an easy way to build and run your own website, then look no further than Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to create your own website from the ground up using a selection of stylish and super customizable templates. I love how I can create a really cohesive theme across my website without much effort at all. By using the site styles panel, I can customize how I want all of my fonts and buttons to look across the entire website, as well as the color scheme. So basically any change I make in here is reflected reflected across the whole website instantly. If you want to create a really sleek looking website either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a web shop like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it for voiceover Kaylee, back to the video. This is a different skin dapsis. It's not what I thought it was. Oh, let me check my little... I can't remember what I ordered. I do this a lot, you know, I order and then things come a month later and then I can't remember what I've even asked for. Oh, it doesn't say. Okay, just says Skindapsis. SP. So I don't entirely know what this is, but obviously I will look it up and find out what I ordered and put the name on the screen. And if it's not right, again, feel free to correct me in the comments. I will try my hardest to come at the camera with this one. There, can you see that? It's well weird. Look at that. It's definitely not Miari. Just, I'm not quite sure what that actually is. But it is variegated and it is Skindapsis nonetheless. This box is trying to eat me. Oh, it's really cute, isn't it? Not super high variegation on that, but we'll see how it grows. It's quite cute though, but we'll see. You know me, I love buying things as experiments to see if they're any good or not. Because sometimes I buy things that people in other countries can't grow and I grow them really well. Or I'll buy something that grows amazingly in Thailand, for example, and I'm like, yes, okay, I can grow this really well. And it comes in and they just don't move for like three months and I get no growth. That happens a lot. So it just kind of depends on the plant. So I like to take chances every now and again. Right, is that, oh no, this is half open already, this one. I'm sure it hadn't been inspected, but it looks kind of open. I thought it would have been wrapped very loosely. Right, what's in this one? Ah, this is another Meari here. So I think it was only that other one that was the odd one out again. I'll show you that. I'll probably come around. Another Meari. Looking cool, looking cool. Very, very pretty. So yeah, just a bit of a variegation boost, really, um, to get more yield. Right, we've got three in here, and these are the good ones. So let me put this down. Right. 
We've got aglaonema, we've got raphidophora, we've got philodendron. I'm going to do the raphidophora first, which no surprises on what this plant is. I do already have some of this plant in the shop. I don't think they're here. Have they moved? Depending on which order these videos come out in. I already have some of these plants, but I'm buying in some more because they're a very good price. So, let's have a little looky. Oh, let's get all the stuff off it. Oh, it's a nice big one as well. Good. Kick all the packaging. Oh, he's nice, isn't he? He's really, really nice. So if you can't tell, this is Raphidophora tetrasperma variegata. And this one has a really nice spread of variegation running through it. Again, I will come round. I'm kind of like squished in here inside of the aisles. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Is that not just awesome? So you can see here, I'll show you at the back. Can you see the spread of variegation around the plant? It's really quite nice. Now, I, I've chatted a lot of shit about this plant and it's not that I don't like the plant, I do. It's just the fact that I think a lot of the time these plants have historically gone for a shit ton of money. And I mean a shit ton of money, like 15,000, stuff like that. I talked about one last week that was like, uh, was it 20,000 US dollars in 2021? They go for a lot of money, but they, they shouldn't because they are around. And I didn't pay 15 to 20,000 for this at all, guys. So it's not that I don't like the plant. I do like the plant. I just, I don't believe that it should be that price at all. There's no reason for it, so. But he's very, very nice. And no doubt he will get chopped and propped as soon as possible. He's traveled really well, actually. I'm quite surprised. Hold him up again. Look, he's really cute, isn't he? I'm debating putting one in my house. I don't know why, but it just I just feel like my bathroom should have one because I've mentioned this in a video before. It doesn't matter whether it's variegated or not, by the way, but these plants, Raphidophora tetrasperma, they can look quite nice trailing as well as growing upwards. It's one of few plants that seems to just still look good and it can kind of almost crawl. It's really quite interesting. So I might put one of these in my house, but I won't be growing it upwards. I'm probably going to trail it down and see how it goes. So I might take a little bit of this and put it in my bathroom. It won't be this. Obviously, I'll sell the good bit. Maybe with that amount of variegation on there, something round about that for the house and just see how it goes, because I think it's going to grow really well. All right, we'll put this down at the bark. OK, next one. Can you see this? Maybe not, maybe. This says aglaonema on it. I'll talk a little bit about this plant once I've unboxed it, but it's the first thing I've got to say is it's heavier than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was a small plant and it's giving me, it's giving me heavy, big plant vibes. And I don't know why. <gasps> oh. Okay, this might be my favorite plant in this haul. I know I just said that the Vitari folium was amazing. The Raffida 4 is nice. The last plant we've got to get is nice, but this might be my fucking favorite. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, let me just get the packaging off it. You're gonna like this. Honestly, you're gonna like this a lot. Oh, <gasps> shit. Oh my God, okay. Are you ready, guys? Can you see it? <gasps> you can sort of see it, hang on. Let me just throw the packaging out of the way. Okay, so this, this, can you see this? This is apparently, is it Aglaonema manila? But I don't know if it's manila variegated or manila. I will show you up close. Look at, seriously, you need to actually see this. Can you literally, 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 look at that. Please focus on the plant, not me, I swear to God. Look at that, guys. Look at that variegation. Oh my God, that, Oh my God. Okay, that's that's actually my favorite. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Look at it. <gasps> oh my God. I saw it on a picture and I didn't think it was this big. I actually thought it was smaller. That is something else. <gasps> that might have to, uh, that might have to exist in my house. I don't actually know how you prop these, to be honest. I've got a root growing out of it. You'll not be able to see. Can you see? I've got a root just growing out here, which is a good sign to be honest, because it's a healthy root and it tells me it grows reasonably quickly if that's the case. This is stunning. This is, oh, I'm gonna have to show you it again. I'm sorry, it, it really is that good. This is ridiculous. Look at this, please. Just, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I will have the correct name on the screen for you, by the way. So whatever I'm saying, ignore what I'm saying. The, the right name is on the screen, or at least the right name as far as I know it of what I ordered is on the screen. But this, 
Oh, I might have to get some more of these. Now, I'm pretty sure that people would probably want these, right? This is beautiful. Now, I suspect that you can't get them very easily. I don't know. I will have to check up on this um, as soon as I finish filming. This is absolutely beautiful. So it's weird, actually. The new leaves, which this one is the newest leaf, it feels really glossy, but it's hardened off to a bit like Syngonium Chia Pensi, which you can't say it's just off there. A little bit more rubbery and matte. That's not really shiny, but the new ones are. That's really quite interesting. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. The only downside to this plant is that the new leaf, can you see there? It looks like it's gonna be white, which is not good. So we'll see, but oh, God, I'm excited about that. I'm gonna show you one more time before we move on. Look at that. Is that not a thumbnail right there? That's fucking crazy how pretty that plant is. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put him down and I'm gonna try and remain professional for the last plant. So the last plant is a philodendron and it is a new version, shall we say, of a uncommon philodendron that I recommend all the time because it's very easy to look after, it propagates well, it, it's affordable, loads of different things I recommend it for. But this is just kind of coming onto the market now. It's certainly hitting higher up at the moment with suppliers and it's probably gonna start trickling down very soon. So I had to get one. It wasn't cheap at all. This is not me saying I got a good deal on it because I didn't. Um, but I wanna show you this plant and I hope it's arrived well. So I'm gonna have a little look at it. It's probably not very large because they're so expensive. But I have every faith in this plant and it will become apparent in a moment why I have every faith in this plant. <gasps> oh, he cute, he cute. Let me just rearrange him because his leaves are a bit, a bit all over the place. So the last plant in my little box today is none other than the, can you tell? Burley Marks Mint, I think they're calling it. I will show you to the camera. It's essentially Burley Marks. Think about the variegated one, except instead of yellow variegation, it's like a minty one. And I agree, this is not the best way to show you just because it has just come out of the box and it is a bit, it'll look real good once that gets in water, I guarantee you. I'll try and get a leaf close up, there's one. That is very reminiscent of Philodendron Ilmanii to me. I don't know if anyone else agrees, but that is really similar. Here's another leaf here, look. Very, very pretty. Sorry, I'm doing my best to hold it up. Another leaf here. Come on. Oh, come on. It doesn't want to focus today, does it? I think what's happening is, by the way, my camera likes to find faces in my plants. So a lot of the time when you see it losing focus, it thinks it's, it thinks someone's back there smiling away. Um, either that or the place is haunted, but let's not, let's not think like that. How nice is that? There, there's a good view of it at least. So yeah, that is Burley Marks Mint. I think that's what it's going as. I don't, I don't actually know. I think it is. I think it's going as Burley Marks Mint and it's kind of a new thing. Now I do think this is going to take off. This is the only one I have, literally. Um, and I'm saying that purely based on the fact that it's Burley Marks underneath, right? So you've got the fact that it grows really quick. It can take being watered. It can take being underwatered. It can take a lot of shit. And I, I really do bang on about this plant all the time. So for that reason, I think it's gonna probably do quite well. Is that going? That bottom leaf might be going a little bit. I'm not sure. Mm, it's a bit stressed. So I have quite high hopes for it. Look how stupid it looks, literally. Yeah, he needs to go in water. I do have high hopes for it though. I'm not even really worried because it's Burley Marks and I, I can't imagine that the mint version is gonna be more difficult than the variegated version, which, can you see that? Uh, no, I've got some Burley Marks just behind this big Monstera there, literally in a corner. I have loads of them and they just, they just take a punch all the time. So that is that, that is the Burley Marks mint. He just needs a little bit of life in him. Hold him up. Oh, he's quite pretty, isn't he? He's not quite my thing, don't get me wrong. I'm still a bit mm, on mint, but he's quite pretty. And I think once he's grown a bit and he pads out a little bit, he will look quite cute. I think this isn't the best advert for him, is it really? He's okay though. I'm sure he's fine. We'll see what roots he's got, but if he doesn't have enough root, I'll probably just shove him in water because he'll root really, really easily. And that is literally 
the end of my fabulous unboxing. Now, I honestly thought I would enjoy the Vitari Folium the most, but the Raffa Four is very nice. And honestly, that Aglaonema is ridiculous. It's ridiculously beautiful. I might have to get some more of those. They are absolutely stunning. We will see what happens, but thank you very much for watching this unboxing today. It was short, but as you can see, it's all high value stuff, but it's nice to have some odd bods, really. I mean, is it really interesting watching me unbox, I don't know, 20 queens? Probably not. So thanks very much for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you are not already subscribed, please feel free to do so. Please leave a comment telling me which one your favorite is. I'm really rooting for the Aglaonema though. I think that's pretty hot, but let me know what you think because I like to know what people prefer. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.